In this video, I will show you how to create a free virtual bank card in Cameroon. If you find this video helpful, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more important videos like this. Now, if you're in Cameroon and you're in search of a bank card for your online payments, your Netflix subscriptions, your Spotify, or any payment on the internet, this video is going to help you on how to create and get a free bank card in Cameroon. So like and subscribe if you want more important videos like this. Now, the first thing you have to do is to go to your App Store or your Play Store, depending on the phone you are using. If you are using an iPhone, you can go to your App Store. If you are using uh, an Android, you can go to your Play Store. It's all the same app and basically the same uh, instructions. So in your App Store, you are going to search for the app Pay Seeker. Sorry, it's Pay, not Pay. So here's the application. Here's how it looks like. So I already have it installed on my iPhone. So what I have to do right now is open it. Once I open it, it's your first time. They're going to ask you to create an account. All right. So all you have to do is to come to register. And then I'm going to show you how to create an account effectively. The first thing you have to do here is to put in your phone number. So I'm going to put in one phone number. As an example, this is not an official phone number. But put in your real phone number or recommend a phone number that has a mobile money account or range money account. So I'll put in this, and once I'm done, I'll click on next. Once you go to next, I'm going to add, ask you to add an email address, which I'll recommend to put in your real email address. So this is an example of an email address I created for this purpose. And then you put that in. Please, I really recommend you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then you click on next. It's going to come over here to ask you to create a password. Remember, your password has to be eight characters, uh, must contain a symbol or a number, something like that. So we're just going to create a random password, for instance. Uh, here's that. And then I'll click on the next you have to do is come over to this box here where they say, Do you have a referral code? I'm going to click on yes because I'll give you a referral code to use. And if you use that referral code, basically is going to give you some few rewards. Here's the, uh, the code you should use. I'm just going to write that down here. It's going to be in the description segment. So you can check in the description if you want to get the full code. So here's the code B135F00, not O, please, 0. 074. So here's the code. If you get this code, if you use this code, Paysica is going to give you a reward. So use that code. It's in the description if you want to get it. Once you use the code, you are going to click on register. Once you click on register, they're going to send a code to your phone number, which you are going to include here. So let's just wait quickly wait for the code and then we can put it here. Just hold on a minute. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I believe they have sent the code. Yeah, here's the code. Okay, I'm going to copy the code and I'll put it back here. So that's the code. Once you place the code, your account is going to be created. Registration complete. Now I continue to log in. We're going to put in the password that we use here. Please, that's why you should create a password that you know so that you won't forget. Once you are putting that login, now set up a pin. You can set up a pin. This is just a trial account, so I'm just going to use. Okay, so that's how your account is created. Here is it. So when your account is created, this is how it is. Say hello to your new SF card. So you can create a card. Here is it. You just have to come right here and then choose a card, and then you get a virtual a virtual card. It's totally free. But the only thing you have to do is to finish your KYC. Now, KYC is a problem for most Cameroonians, especially uh, as getting a, a re-identification card is very hard here, but it's it's no problem. Once you come right here, you can use your identification card, even if it's just your uh, passport to or carton, as we locally call it here in Cameroon. So first of all, you can put your personal details, put in your first name, your last name, and uh, uh, you come over to your selfie, add a selfie of you, it's very easy. Now, <clears throat> you can use any ID. Just make sure that the details of your ID are 
show you very very well all right and also put in your address address is very simple for instance if you're in boya just go ahead and put boya all right if you're in Douala, put Douala or put whatever quarter you're in 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 in, in, in the town you are in for instance if i'm in moliko boya see moliko boya or mayo street boya all right it's very simple it's not complicated now where you're going to really face a problem is if you are young is and I, which is your taxpayer's document. Now, this can be a challenge because most people don't have that taxpayer's document. If you are facing a problem with taxpayer's document, I'm going to give you a solution. All you have to do is to come over to their customer service. Uh, come over to the customer service it should be somewhere. Uh, okay. You come over to your customer service. I think it should be somewhere. Now, when you go to your customer service or basic, you can tell them that you want to register an account, but you don't have the taxpayer's uh, identification number. All right, they are going to ask you for two thousand five hundred, and they will do everything for you. All right, I, I believe two thousand five hundred is not something that much. Basic is an application I've been using for the last six months, and I've never had a challenge with them. In fact, they are so good; they are the exchange rate is just so good. That's why I'm recommending it to any Cameroonian. So if you don't have a, a taxpayer's number, go to the customer service. I'm trying to get the customer service link and then tell them that you are creating an account, but you don't have a taxpayer's number. That goes ahead uh, it. Tell them here yeah, you want to get a taxpayer's uh, identification number and they are going to help you get one for just 2500 All right. Remember your KYC, you have to put in your identification yeah, identification you can use any id even if your id is not that good you can still reach out to them all right you see request yes this is how you request for it all right you can request it here they say the accept that piece card they took 2500 from your account so that goes to cost you 2500 to give you a taxpayer's identification all right so that's it very easy if you find any problems with basic card you can comment here and I believe I'll, I can re I can help you reach out to the customer service to solve all your problems. But if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.